السلام عليكم ورحمة الله معكم كابتن هاني ادمن جيم ايجيبت نحن النهاردة عملنا لقاء قوي جدا مع سانتو باني طبعا بطل مستر اولمبيا على طول على الستيج متواجد باستمرار رجل جامد جدا هنسأله النهاردة بعض الاسئلة اللي الشباب عندنا في الصفحة دايما بيسألوها هذا رجل محترف مدى قضى طول حياته على الستيج فالنهاردة هنشوف نقدر نسأله اسئلة عاملة ازاي ويرد علينا بالاجوبة اللي احنا غالبا اغلب الادمنز بيردوا نفس الردود بس لما بتيجي من بادي بندر كبير فالناس بتصدق اكتر. سانت باني هاو ار يو؟ جود ثانك يو. ايفريثينج فاين؟ ايفريثينج جريت. نايس. سو هاو جونا لايك اي تولد يو بيفور وي ستارت ذا شو. اول ذا تايم ذا بيبول اسكين اباوت واتس ذا ديفرنت بيتوين ا بادي بيلدر ان اوبن كلاس اند بادي بيلدر ان 212. سو يور اوبينيون اباوت ذات. Well, it's simply a matter of size. Um, typically, open class is generally better suited for a bodybuilder who is a little bit taller. Yeah. Um, you know, it's someone who is maybe five foot five. You know, can can expand to a weight of 212 pounds. Yeah. But if he were to enter the open class, he may not be as competitive. Yeah. yeah. So it gives. There were many many guys that were attaining professional status. Um, as lightweights, yeah. middleweights, yeah. light heavyweights, and they may or may not have potential to gain a lot more size. Yeah. So they weren't, they didn't have a venue in which to compete that was where they could be competitive. Yeah. So yeah. the two, the two twelve class provided a venue for guys of smaller stature to be competitive and to compete, and you know. So what's the difference between Phil Heath when he wins yeah. and uh, the other guy? Flex in Lewis. Yeah, Flex Lewis. Um, well, the Open, um, I would say, is, is regarded a little bit more highly. Yeah. Um, if, if Flex Lewis were to compete in the Open, and people speculate about that all the time, yeah. how well would he place? I think he would do very well. Um, how well? It's, it's very difficult to say. I think it's been a huge success. I think that the fans really enjoy the 212. Um, and I think a lot of times in the 212, you see a level of condition and a level of competitiveness yeah. that maybe isn't there in the open. So I think the fans really, really enjoy the 212. I think personally that it's, it's a great success. So it's mainly about the tall, how tall the guy, or yeah. mainly about how, like how on the on the scale that ha how many kilos he have. Well, 212 is an is is a weight. Yeah. Um, But the point that. Uh, like if you look at me right now, yeah. you're gonna say you, where I where I will go. Where to of compete. course, of course, in the open, yeah. you never be a 212 yeah. bodybuilder. You're taller, have a larger stature. Yeah. Um, so I, I would say any for anyone who is five foot six yeah. and above, yeah. probably better off being in the open um, because when you have someone um, like Flex Lewis yeah. who is um, and don't quote me. But he's five, 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 six. But he is a very, very big, two hundred and twelve pounds. So you have to, in order to be a very big two twelve, you have to be short. Yeah. You know. So let's ask you some questions that mainly come for our page, like all the time. They ask us uh, what to do and what not to do. Uh -huh. So as a bodybuilder, you spent all your career and your time, lifetime, in this sport. Right. So. Tell me what to do and what not to do. Oh, <laughs> this could be a long list. <laughs> <laughs> But give us the, the, the big ones. Right, that, right, like right, right, nobody right. can do that mistake or you have to do that. What is very important is that everyone realizes who they are and what their strong point is. A lot of times I think guys will look at another bodybuilder and try to be that bodybuilder, try to emulate yeah. him. You can't do that. Everyone has, like anything in life, everyone has things that they're good at. You know, um, Everyone has to, you know, if, if, if Dexter Jackson was trying to be the biggest guy on stage, it wouldn't work for him. Yeah. He has to use his strengths. Yeah. Everyone has to realize, you know, um, what they're good at. Yeah. And, that, that, and that, that has a lot to do with the decision to even partake in bodybuilding or not. Because some people will, they want so badly to be a bodybuilder, but maybe that's not what's best for them in life. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people, I've watched people almost waste their life trying to be something Somebody. that they can never be. Yeah. So everyone has to, you have to be you. I know that sounds cheesy, yeah. but you have to be you. 
Okay. Uh, so what not to do? It's don't copy somebody. Never. Okay. Never. So what, be you. What to do? I think the best thing that you can do as a bodybuilder is first of all to accept that it's a lifestyle yes don't look at it just as I'm going to get ready for this competition it is it's a, bodybuilding is something that you have to love yeah. it's something that you do day in and day out and you don't do it because the camera is on you yeah. it's, it's what you do when no one is looking yeah. is, is what yeah. makes you a yeah. good bodybuilder yeah, body bodybuilding by the way it's even Mr. Olympia and all, all the, the people who's competing right. it's just half an hour on the stage they have been training for one year for half an you, hour on for once, uh, once a year yeah. so it's everything you're doing that people don't see yeah so you have do to do it 100% have to do it 100% yeah. and you have to do it because you want to do it if you don't want to do it do something else that yeah. you like doing yes you know yeah. Yeah. it's you only live one life so one, one of the questions always come in our page that hey coach can you please write for me a, a diet plan or nutrition something or like whatever uh, like put me in a program and I will follow right okay when you start to say something for the guy that you have to eat five times in a day mm -hmm. the first thing they say hey I cannot do that <laughs> so what the hell why you come to ask the question right what do you say for these guys that they are like interested to do something but right. they don't really want to do it well I think that it has to be an evolution yeah you don't just one day decide to be a bodybuilder yeah okay maybe you you begin with the goal of improving the way you look yeah. right so you go to the gym you say okay I want to get stronger I want to lose a little bit of body fat I just want to improve myself yeah. but you don't have goals of becoming a professional yeah. of being Mr. Olympia it's too that's too far off. Yeah, you yeah. don't think you don't think like that. Yeah. There's people that start out and they've never lifted a weight in their life and they're already thinking about I, my dream is to be Mr. Olympia. Yeah. I want to be on the cover of a magazine. Yeah. I want to have sponsors. If that's the way that you approach it, you're going to fail. Yeah. It has to evolve. So, if you're someone who just begins going to the gym recreationally for your own reasons, personal reasons, to improve, to feel better, to be healthier, yeah. right? Then little by little you begin to eat better. Maybe you begin to eat more frequently. Yes. You begin to train a little harder. It happens little by little by little. So for most people, if you tell them, okay, eat five meals a day, eat six meals, yeah. it's too much of a, um, a change. Yeah. So change has to take place gradually. Yeah. And people should begin um, with incremental goals. Okay, we set small goals. Yeah. Bodybuilding happens in reps. Yes. In sets. Yes. In meals. It's yeah. one meal at a time. And sleeping. One's one one hour at a time. Yeah. It's it, it, nothing. Nothing about bodybuilding is big. Yeah. But people think too big. They think about winning this show. Yeah. No, you don't think about that. You think about making today yes. perfect. Yeah. I get all my in, all my meals. I have perfect reps, and then I had a perfect set, and then I had a perfect workout. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I had a perfect day. Yeah. That's good. Forget everything else. Yes, it's all little things. This is I, I agree hundred percent. But the point when you when you get the question that like, uh, hey, I need a diet plan or I need a training plan and 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 when you start to explain that, hey, I'm gonna tell you that what to do right. and what to follow. Right. Then when they start like arguing with you that they say that no, I cannot do that. I cannot do this because I'm working because I'm that. So I say immediately, you don't have to be a bodybuilder in this case. Just enjoy your life. Yes. But they take it like we have ego that we are like uh, uh, avoiding these people. We don't want to talk. With you. you already typed my hand. I cannot tell you anything if, when you if say some, that. You are, if no, you, if no, you no. tell me you can't do it, you can't do it. Yeah. What can I say? Yeah. <laughs> you told me. I didn't say you can't do it. Yeah. Because, <laughs> because the point is that we think that because we know some nah. information that we can put the spell on them. No, you know, everyone is always spell. looking for this magic <clears throat> and it doesn't exist. It just doesn't exist. Yeah. So in your case, how long you have been like training hard and take it seriously that you really, really want to make something on Olympia? How, how did it take from you? What did it take from you? Sorry for the question. I began training when I was 16, but I wouldn't call it training. Yeah. It's working out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Training? Yeah. See, it's difficult to say because when I was 23 years old, I trained in a way 
that for me it was the hardest I knew how to train at the time. And ever since then it's gotten progressively, it's gotten, it's gotten better, it's evolved. My training has evolved. So training hard, I don't know, 23 years old, maybe the past 10 years, yeah. past 10 years. Um, but everyone, everyone's idea of what it is to train hard is different. Yeah, for, you sure, know. for sure. So the question we're gonna be for you right now: Did you see in yourself weakness, and you start work on it, or you see like full image? I'm good. Because you know, some people they think that way that I am perfect, everything is fine with me. And when you like face them with the truth that you have some issues, dude, you have to work on it. Right. So do you take it like insulting? Do you take it like what the hell? You are like uh, I don't know how to say that. We call it Minafsi. <laughs> so, what do you think about those guys? They'll never improve. If, you, if you're not able to identify your weaknesses yeah. and exploit them, you can never improve. So if you look at the way that most people train, okay, they train in the gym, they avoid certain things, they avoid certain exercises. Some guys even avoid certain body parts because they're not good at them, oh. right? A lot of people say maybe they don't squat or they don't do deadlifts. They say, well, because it hurts my back or it hurts my knees. But the reality is because they're not doing it right. Yeah. And they didn't take the time because to do it right, maybe they had to only use a little bit of weight until they got it yes. correct. Yes. And they can't deal with that mentally. Yeah. It hurts their ego. Yeah. Right. So most people never want to expose their weaknesses. They train in a way that makes them feel good about themselves. Yeah. If you train that way, you'll never improve. You have to constantly be, when you go in the gym and you think about, well, I would like to do this. Ah, I don't want to do this. This yeah. makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. This makes me feel sick. Yeah. This makes me, that's what you're supposed to do. Because yeah. you do those things and that's what makes you better. Yeah, for but sure. most people don't train that way. For sure. So for you, how many meals in a day? Right now, yeah. uh, five meals. Yeah. Um, for the past several months, I only brought it down to four because I wanted to give my body a break. I've been eating so much food yeah. for so many years. But you, you, you take it down because you already have the size. Yes. But if somebody needs to grow yeah. bigger. Yes, but everything has to be in a cycle, yeah. right? Whether it's cardio, yeah. whether it's training, whether it's eating, whether it's drugs. Yeah. It cannot be up here yeah. all the time. Yeah. Not possible. So just like you might take a break from cardio or from blah, blah, or from training or whatever, you have to reduce your eating too yeah. because it's a large strain on the body, yeah. okay? So maybe I was down to four meals a day, now I'm up to five. Probably another month I'll be having six, okay? And then I'll compete in, uh, in March yeah. and I'll probably bring it back down to four. If I'm hungry for six, yeah. I'll eat six. But if my body is telling me, stop with the food, stop with the food, I have to listen, yeah. okay? Because when, to be a good bodybuilder, you have to be willing to step outside of, of what's comfortable yeah. for you, yeah. okay? But you cannot always be forcing the body yeah. and ignoring what the body is telling you. You have to challenge it, but you can't just be saying, yeah. fuck you to yeah. it. You know what I mean? Yeah. You yeah, have yeah. to work with it. Yeah. You can't always be fighting it. Yeah. So one of the other questions always come for us about the supplements. Mm -hmm. Is the supplements making bad stuff to the body, destroying your kidney, destroying your liver or whatever, is it bad or good, the supplements? And our answer all the time, everything on the earth, if you take it with balance, you will gonna pass, but they don't believe us. So can you please <laughs> replay what I say? With supplements? Yeah. Yeah, I mean supplements are meant to provide the body with things it may not be getting, Yeah. okay? Yeah. So it's used to fill in the gaps. Yeah. Of course it can be healthy, it can be very, very healthy. Yeah. Um, will it hurt your kidneys? No, no, no. I mean, I suppose if you're doing, you know, uh, all sorts of amounts of it and uh, doing other things that are, that are unhealthy, yeah. it could be unhealthy, but no, no, absolutely not. So you live in America? Yes. So the, I think the, the, the temperature is 
quite similar like in Egypt or at least in the Middle East. We are like almost 40 degrees. It's very high. Yeah. So uh, the water mm -hmm. for you, mm -hmm. uh, like, can you tell me how, how much liters you drink in a day and how, how, the, how important the water for your body? Right. The water is very important. Um, I probably drink about five liters yeah, per day. In a day. Um, uh, it's so important to keep your, your body hydrated. And the bigger you get, the more easily it is to become dehydrated. Yeah. Um, even if you're not sweating, just, just breathing yeah. and walking around, yeah. you lose fluid. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of guys, they, they, um, they have pain in their body somewhere, their muscles are tight. Yeah. It's, a la it's a lack of hydration. It's very important to stay hydrated um, for the health, you know, uh, for the health of your muscle tissue. Yeah. So many guys end up with injuries. A lot of it is a lack of hydration and a lack of proper nutrition. They're not eating, you know, so many guys, all they eat all day is chicken and rice. Yeah. Steak and rice. Yeah. No vegetables. All the, all the nutrients contained in a, when, when you eat a, a diet that has a variety yes. of food, yes. all those, there's, there's nutrients in, in that variety that you wouldn't get when you're just eating the same thing all the time. Yeah. Um, and those nutrients, a lot of them found in vegetables, help to keep the body healthy, help to keep your tissue healthy. Yeah. And it helps you to grow. People don't look at vegetables as, oh, it helped me grow. Yeah. No, steak, potato, yeah. rice, yeah. that's, that's yeah. what it makes me grow. True, but food can work together. Yes. And people sure. need to eat a better. It's completing each it's other. It's more yeah. complete. Yes. yes. Um, so it, it's, it's adding health to the tissue. But water is a large part of that. What I recommend to people, because a lot of times people don't like to drink a lot of water because they're drinking it with food. Yeah. It's not good. Okay. Because when you're eating food and you're drinking a lot of water, now it's harder to digest your food because yeah. all you did is you watered down, yes. you diluted all yeah. the enzymes in yeah. your stomach, right? Yeah. So drink water between meals. It'll, it'll absorb easier, yes. it'll hydrate you easier, yes. and you, it won't make you feel I bloated. Always, I always recommend the, the water or the drinking after eating was one hour. So yes. your enzymes will gonna take care of the food that you eat, right. after that you start to drink, so right. you will gonna flush the system. Right, drink on an empty stomach. Yeah. yeah. But it's very important. It's just as important. Look, water, okay, we know that we can survive much longer without food than we can without water. No yeah. water, we die yeah. a few days. Yes. Okay? So that should tell you how important yeah. water is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for the body. Because oxygen is, is most important, and water is then, mo then most important, then food. So, the next question will gonna be for you. Mm -hmm. What's the plan for 2016? I'd like to do the Arnold Classic in March. Yeah. Um, possibly go to Australia after that and compete there in the Arnold. Um, after that, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I have some things going on um, business-wise. Yeah. So, it'll all see kind of what, what fits and what makes the most sense. So, if bodybuilding come in front of your business, you're mm -hmm. gonna stop bodybuilding or you're gonna continue your business? You know, like, like I said earlier, even though I've, I've come far enough in bodybuilding to make it my career, yeah. I still consider bodybuilding a lifestyle for me. So, but you still make money from bodybuilding. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, it's not, it's not my everything. Yeah. So, I'm always training. Yes. Always eating well. Yes. The competition part, it's when I feel it, it, it makes the most sense. Yeah. And that could mean, that could mean. Um, it could mean a lot of things around business, around you know family, around whatever. Yes. Um, so I never have a plan. You always <laughs> you always see what's right now well, and you do it. Yeah, it's it's. I feel I do the same way with um, you know if I'm dieting, I don't just make a plan and follow it. Yeah. I go day to day, and okay. I say okay, I adjust things always as I go. Yeah, but you already have in your head or because you have so much experience so you yes. you know how to do it yes. you know but the pe the people who's like start to begin yeah a plan career. a plan is good yeah. i agree yeah. i agree yeah. um, but for me whether it's my life or it's bodybuilding i try not to plan too much yeah <laughs> even even you know uh, have a, i have one daughter 
And uh-huh. people ask all the time, when are you going to have another? When are you going to have another child? I say, I don't know. I don't plan it. You know, because she was not planned. Yeah. And she's perfect. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. I have to keep that formula. No, you have, no plan. Do you have time for her? Yes. Yes. You make time for her? I always wish I had more. Yeah. But yes, I see her every day. We spend at least a little time together every day, you know, uh, unless when I'm traveling. Yeah. But, um, you know, daddy play with me, you know, so yeah, sure. that's, that's important to me. Yeah. She's only going to be, sure. because soon she's going to say, daddy, get away from me because she's yeah. going to be older. Yeah. So I have to enjoy this now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally, <laughs> totally, totally. I have to, so I, I understand what you're saying. So I understand, I understand. So thank you for being with us. Thank you for all your quality information. Oh. And being nice guy for us. Oh, thank you. Uh, we wish you all the best. We wish you the luck in your life. Thank you.